between turrets. <laughs> Canyon is rotating up though. Yeah, gets himself the smoke screen. Hoya having to run away. Flashes on in for the stun is now Canyon with that red buff doing a fair bit of work. So the flashes. I don't know if I call that a gank, unfortunately. Yeah, it was a little bit sad as that's another phenomenal body slam. Blade Caller comes into light, has been lit on fire as there's the flash out from Ghost avoiding Umpty and that devastating charge as Beryl oh, still The early game has fallen flat on its face. Yeah. And that's just a big problem here because Damwon Kier very happy to just scale up here. Well, the train is leaving as well as Hoya just sidesteps it. I like that move as Decimating Smash going to uh, reduce Hoya's health by <laughs> As Canyon going to start off this Rift Herald. Delight in the area as well. Look at Hoya! He oh can't even God. get yeah, here. He's so low. Khan doesn't have ulti. Flash available for the Scion almost up here for Hoya, but it looks like Fred Breon shouldn't be able to fight this. As they do manage to take this one down. Umpty is going to be taxied back as Graves grabs the first blood. Empress Divide is good though onto Beryl, who's surviving for way too long. In fact, gets a lot of damage down, flashes on away. And now Hoya is stunned at the back of the pit. He's dead as here. well. Umpty, going to look for the wraparound. Oh, look yeah. at Beryl, he's so good. Yeah, exactly. Delight is going to get... Pushed out of this fight right now. There's the onslaught of shadows into the back line as Umpty's still pretty healthy in this one, but in goes the Scion. Triple knockup. The Encore only on the Hoya, but that's all they needed to evaporate the Renekton. And now Fred and Brianna are on the run, shifting sands to get Lava out of there. But this is exactly what Darmon wanted. They'll this could be a perfect game with no plates even as Canyon comes up towards that top side of the East. Well, I guess they could be played in like every single lane uh, back in Season 1. As Umpty's going to come down and he's going to try and get his revenge here onto Beryl who does get pushed back. Goodbye perfect game maybe and yes, he will be taken down. Now Ghost is getting chased out, Lethality no mana left. Zion, anyone. Uh, <laughs> he's doing too much damage. We're waiting for it. Has to use the ulti, really well played there. By Umpty to guarantee that the Zion, He still makes it work every single time. And uh, who's chasing whom here? Yeah, okay, let's try and kill Khan. Good luck, Fred and Breon. They have four people so far. Khan uses his walk. Yeah, you really yeah. need to try and get into the back line, but the thing is, like, the peel is actually really good on the side of Damwon Kia this time around. As uh, Beryl is going to demonstrate that goodbye, Lava. In the LCK, this matchup, but not in this case. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, just trying to clear out the minions here, as you can see. Is the rest of Fred and Breon trying to come around as in goes Umpty, going for the engage Beryl. Gets a little bit frightened and then throws his cask away as Hoy is going to get altered by himself. Khan just trying to be that front line as Canyon gets pushed over the wall and Umpty doesn't follow him, unfortunately for Umpty, so they can't follow up on that one. Hoya now a little bit too low. And Darmon Kia just keeping Fred Brion at bay and taking the, the turrets that they're looking for. And they will have strong uh, you know, swap by that potentially. Uh oh. Yeah, Canyon going to get engaged on here. Gets. Very, very frightened, and you can understand exactly why now Beryl might suffer the same fate. Could this be Fred and Breon coming alive as Beat Drop not quite going to work out here as we're waiting for the Encore, but Showmaker not going to go for it without the jungler. Fred and Breon think that it's time to go for this Baron. Khan's got Teleport. He's yeah. coming through. Sion is going to come in here as Delight is taken down very, very low. Hoya with the ulti pre popped He's now looking to try and get on top of Ghost. The Encore lands onto threes. Khan gets into the back line, but they've lost the Zaya. 
Showmaker wants to be able to get the work done here as, oh my god, Lava just gets body slammed out of an attempted Empress Divide. And look at this, this is what we were talking about. They can't kill Khan. They can't kill him. It's just taking everything from these guys as Showmaker tries to get the beat drop and the Renekton will fall. Empress Divide to try and stop him, but it's too little, too late. Unbelievable. And, and it, it looked like they lost their damage, Wolf. It, it was 4v5. It didn't matter. It was 4v5. And Showmaker did so much damage in this fight with all the stacks he's gotten <laughs> at this stage of the game. This is unbelievable. This is actually insanity what we're watching right now as Canyon gets greedy. Does end up getting the vision here, but, you know, pays for it with his life. Fred and Breon feel like, okay, it's time. We're going to take a Baron. And the, <laughs> the the ensuing fight is actually insane. Like, watch how much damage Showmaker does in this fight. I want to see the damage numbers, in fact, because I think he might have actually outdamaged Lava in this fight. His Khan just comes through. He misses his ultimate. He doesn't even get the knockups, but the charm is there, and they cannot get on top of Showmaker because Khan is just frontlining <laughs> like a madman. 1v5, and Showmaker is just tossing in Qs, and he's just doing so much damage. You can't actually fight this. Khan's unkillable. Uh, I cannot believe so what we just watched. Silly. It is so silly. Because they're trying to ignore Khan as best they can, but actually he does. A deceptively large amount of damage. Yeah, look at the shields at the end of the fight where it's already over. He didn't even and use uh, them. They're going to take a Baron uh, right on top of a whole bunch of wards that have now lost all of their sight. Oh, because Zom one Kia just group, right? They don't need a side laner. They're just going to push us five. Well, in goes the train. Not going to find any stuns, but buys enough space. It's exactly what Khan needed to do. Is now Canyon actually able to get so go. much damage onto Delight right here. As Khan, he's just walking under turrets. Just straight up does not care. Uh, Fred and Breon do have one last team fight in them, but it will be desperation, Khan. if anything. Khan's got Ooh, Khan own. lost about a thousand health. Oh no! How bad? Anyway, as uh, <laughs> yeah, Canyon just gonna dive on board. Umpty's gonna have to get out of there as he's not tanky enough at all. He's not a lot of counterplay lot. options to that one nope. either. As yeah, we've got a lot of super creeps moving their way in. Lava there he goes. Get out. The drifting once again, looking beautiful. He finds Lava. What's just half else him as full tank Scion. The cargo of stone plate going to mean that he should be able to get out as the minions were well, 100% trolling him there, but it's not going to cost him his life. Umpty's going to get body slammed back. You can see Showmaker doing a lot of work. Ghost wasn't there to get the follow-up damage, but it doesn't really matter. Showmaker locks down the Azir as Hoya has to go golden there towards the backside. Canyon not going to be so lucky here. But I think this is the end of this one, Wolf, as Umpty's going to have to get out. In comes Scion once again as he teleports onto the minions. And uh, yeah, they're just going to celebrate towards the end of this one. Khan goes golden, but it's just the Nexus that they have to finish off. He dies! Oh my goodness, his first death of the <laughs> series. As Hoya's going to have to go back to the fountain, and the Nexus is going to be finished off by Ghost, but mostly the minions as Darmwan. Try to save people. Too late. Oh my god, he's literally the whole thing by himself. It is so silly. And we've been calling for a lot of these nerfs, sorry, these bands onto the side, especially onto Khan. And if this isn't the perfect example, I don't know what is. Drifting behind the Nexus turrets to half health lava with his ultimate is certainly an example of that. Yeah, it's ulting in. It looked like he was just trying to throw minions to the game. It felt like at that point. <laughs> yeah. Showmaker gets the kill there with this passive and the flash. Yeah, that was, uh, you can see they're very cool, calm, and collected in this moment. They know that all they need to do is drop their wallets on them. And uh, Fred Brown will go down. Yep. <laughs> Cyan ends up going down as Khan is like, uses his stopwatch. And uh, just ends up getting hit by the fountain turret there. <laughs> A little bit sad, you know, at the end for his perfect KDA, but I think he's having a good time. You can see it on his face. And look, 